This is CNN Breaking News. News just in. Communist guerrilla organisation, the Khmer Rouge, has taken over Cambodia and are killing people in the masses. Led by Pol Pot, the end to make Cambodia dictatorship. The capital city of Cambodia, Phnom Penh, has been evacuated by communist leaders of the Khmer Rouge. It's reported that the only people to remain in the city are held in a prison in a former school and kept in life threatening conditions. Inside this S21 prison camp, we believe that it is reminiscent of Auschwitz. This is CNN well. Breaking and News. We have had reports from Cambodia that hundreds and thousands of their educated middle class people are being executed and tortured in special centres in this and around the capital city. Cambodia's economy is in a standstill today. I'm going to come to There is no education left in Cambodia under forced communist labour. The entire population has been forced from the cities to work in villages and farms around the capital. Living conditions are cruel and beyond basic. It is estimated that thousands of lives are being lost every day due to starvation, torture and hunger. Never in country, Vietnam is said to be taking action soon. This is CNN Breaking News. I'll leave you both here. You must remember what Ma told us. Say you're an orphan, and make sure you don't use a real name. You must forget about the past. Goodbye, Chief. See you soon. Please, kid. Don't leave me. I'm too weak now to do this alone. Goodbye, kid. Come on, child. You will come with me. We will go together. Ma will never find out. She does not care for us anymore. Yes! yes. Who, Who are, are you? you? I am an orphan. I am here looking for work in your camp. I have been brought up in the country on a farm. I can do anything you wish me to do. We are full of child workers. We don't need any more. Please, Ma. I am used to long days and hard work in the fields. I know I require a little food to keep me going. I'll be an asset to your camp. Do you respect the anchor? I do. We see young children, children as being pure and untainted by capitalism and family influence. You'll believe in nothing but anchor. You'll work hard in the fields from sunrise until sunset. You will respect the anchor and be trained to give us any information on anyone who's against us. I will! You'll be taught to run in zigzag lines in the fields. So if people try to shoot you, it will be hard for them to hit you. You, you will respect the anchor. You will be taught to hate. You will be taught to kill. You will be taught that people will want to hurt you. You, you will, will respect the anchor. Because, because the children of the Khmer Rouge are the saviors of the future. You will respect the anchor. We will respect the anchor! And so I grew up in that camp, training as a child soldier. I was brought up to believe that every one of you out there wanted to kill me. And if you had come across my path, I'd better take you out first. To save myself. And that's what I grew up with. I grew up thinking everybody wanted to kill me. After 17 months, we'd had enough. Chow and I grew a lot stronger now. As we've worked hard, a lot more food in the camp and let me give it back to mother. But well, we missed mother, and it was time to go back and find out what happened to her. I prayed every night for our father would come back and save her from starving to death. Chow and I did not ask permission. We just stole away in the night one night. If we had been caught, we would have been severely punished. I probably would have been shot there and then. The Kamara had caught me escaping. But my heart was yearning to see my family again, to see if anyone was still left alive. I would never have had the strength to do without her. She was younger than me. She had so much more anger and fear. She never cried. She never seemed afraid. I was jealous of how she dealt with her idea. Chow was weaker than me, both physically and emotionally. So I knew I had to be strong enough for the both of us. My greatest fear of all was returning to Rowley, finding no one left. Every single member of my family, dead. 
I was a man now, not that I'd ever had a childhood, as the youngest years of my life were scarred by torture, hunger, pain. Journey back to Rolling seemed like forever. But every step I took, I was in the hope and faith of the survivors. I cannot tell you how amazing it was to meet up with Kim on the road back. If the gods were watching, they had certainly brought us three children back together. And so healthier and stronger than we had been in the previous year, the three of us made our way back to Mars Hill. I longed to see us standing there, welcoming us with a smile from the distance. There was no one in sight. The hut was empty. Her pots were there, but no ma. No ma. And, and so, so we, we knew, knew they'd, they'd gone, gone forever. forever. and forced labour due to the large numbers of deaths during the Khmer Rouge are commonly known as Cambodian genocide. Thankfully, my war ended when the Vietnamese invaded Cambodia. I fled the refugee camp and came to America under the sponsorship of an adoption scheme and resettled here in Vermont. Of course, when I was living at a refugee camp, I knew nothing of America. Just that it was a place very far away. Pa, I'm leaving for America tomorrow. The worst. The worst. Get in the air. Don't worry. Where do you go? I'll find you. And he has. I believe my father's spirit's with me. Always. Not just with me. But around me. We're all 